Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from BLF. Now, this here is their Wild Trail D80V2. Now, I was sent this by Banggood.com, comes in this box. They wanted me to test and review it. I feature them in my store as well. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in it. Comes with the user manual. And show you what LED is in here on this light. And as you can see, it comes with two LED types. The one that I have here is the Cree version. Mine is the 5000K. So if you need more time to read that, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise, we're going to move along here. Now this light is fully programmable. But we'll go over the basics of the light. Comes with an O-ring, also another power switch, grommet as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. And there it is. Now this is a compact light, as you can see. A lot of heat sinking here on this light. That will help with heat and reducing it. Nice steel bezel on there. Some knurling here on the tail, but smooth not rough tail clicky feels solid tactical feels good holding that tactically or everyday carry Interesting here on the design on the body. And these little indentations help keep it from rolling. Kind of pivot into one of those. If it starts rolling, it'll stop. You can table stand that if you need to. Now the style and design on this is nice, definitely different. I've seen quite a few uh, with heads that are bigger, but usually they kind of taper into the body area. This one here is abrupt. The machining and finish on this is very nice. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the deep smooth reflector. Now this is running the Cree XP-L High V2 LED. Try to get you a good picture of that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take this completely apart. That way I can show you the insides. There's the head of the light. 
spring. It's got a bypass wire on that, as you can see. And that helps with more current flow from the battery to the circuit board. A little bit of grease on there as well. Take off the tail end. Let's see that. Again, you got a little bit of grease here on the O-ring and the threads. There's the tail spring. Pretty heavy duty on that as well. Alright, so now let me bring out the battery I'm going to use with this. Alright. So the battery I'm going to be using here is a Samsung OEM cell. This is a 35E, 3500 milliamp, but they tested about 3350, 3375 on average. This is an unprotected cell. This is an 8 amp cell. So it should provide plenty of power for this light. Nice that you can use button top or flat top in this because of the two spring design so now let's go ahead and go through the UI the UI is pretty simple we're just going to go through the basics of it I'm going to turn that on real low light output there that does have a donut shape but once you pull it away it disappears as you can see then you're going to simply half press that to go through those light outputs and then back down. Now the programming is at your own discretion. If you do have a problem with it, you can reset this light as well. Again, we'll go over the beam here, try to pull it back a little bit. As you can see it's a really a nice little compact thrower. Really nice sharp cutoff line on there super intense hot spot there very little if no bleeding at all further back you just see a little bit there but that is just a very intense beam again it's the highest output there and for dedicated throwers you're never going to get the super high output that you would on other lights. Now the lumen output is not needed to be extremely high on a dedicated throwers because of the way the beam is focused. So let's uh, take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the BLF Wild Trail. So let's check it out, see how it does. Water spout. 35 feet so it's easily making that nice hot spot definitely a dedicated pocket thrower playing with this earlier it's got some incredible range for this size of light all right we're going to go to the next level see how it does see there still it's come alive a little bit there as you can see on the fence 65 feet to this tree 35 feet to that water spout and it is making the tree of life see the hot spot bouncing around and before the mist comes in again let's go to the next level very cold out this morning about 34 degrees cold for us anyways Usually making it to the school there. See that hot spot? Tree of Life. 138 feet. 238 feet to that tree behind it. Said I was very impressed. You're needing a little dedicated thrower that's got some range. You don't want to spend a lot of money. Definitely budget friendly. And BLF has really been doing well with making special arrangements for flashlights, for us flashlight fans, 
and reviewers. Tree line, fence line, see the range on that? Oh, we're going to go to the next level, see how it does. <laughs> now remember, this goes up to 2,000 lumens, which is impressive for such a compact light. Now remember, it's not a lot of lumens compared to some other lights, but for a dedicated thrower, that's a lot. You got park there, there's the other playground there. Easily making those with these, making the furthest trees out here. Again, 238 feet to that tree, 138 feet to this tree. I do have my distances listed in my Facebook group, and I did a special video. There's the first palm tree, second one's further away. Making those with these. Before and after, bam. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that wild trail. Impressive throw on this little compact light. Fits in the palm of your hand. Throw it in your pocket. Definitely got some range on this. Extremely impressed with this. Not only in build quality, but also in performance. Man, it's... I can't say anything bad about the performance. The 5000K definitely is different. I normally like... 6000k for my dedicated throwers but that didn't hinder this and its performance at all in my opinion so it's definitely something that you can make and program the way you want also has some additional modes and the fact that this is a nice programmable flashlight does take a little bit of steps if you do make a mistake or it's not the way you wanted you can simply reset this light also all those instructions are in the manual so I want to thank Banggood for sending me this to review now I am featuring these in my online store so if you're interested in getting this remember you'll need to get a battery for it look down in the description area I'll provide you my link including my special discount code when you go to my page, it'll be right at the top. All you do is click on it. It'll copy and paste it for you automatically. All you do is go to checkout, and you're ready to go. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these lights from BLF to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.